With the holidays coming up, chances are you're gonna have some friends and family come over to visit. And if you have a high energy dog or high energy dogs <laughs> like I do, then it can be a bit of concern, right? You might be worried that you're gonna be embarrassed or frustrated by your dog when people do come over. Well, one thing that you can do to really help your dog is to let them get to know your friends and family before they're introduced. What? Yes, I said before they're introduced. So how can you do that? Here's the number one thing you can do to help get ready for that and I'll explain how. I'm Dr. Carolyn Lincoln with play to behave And you can find out more about me at playtobehave.com. I also have a very supportive community and a program that's gonna help you with lots of different issues with your dog. If you'd like to learn more about that, go to playtobehave.com slash join. I'd love to have you become part of the family. So how can your dog be introduced before they even see your friends and family? Well, you can do that because dogs have a very strong sense of smell. In fact, their ability to scent is probably as complicated and nuanced as our ability to talk. I don't even have to be in the room with you right now, right? You're watching a video and you can still understand the message I'm trying to get across. In fact, I could write it in a book and a message can be strong enough that it can bring you to tears or make you laugh. Well, dogs have a very complicated, as I said, sense of smell. And in fact, they can pick up a scent under 300 feet of water. So if your dog is upstairs in a bedroom or somewhere else in the house confined, when your friends and family arrive, as long as your dog is happy and feels safe and secure in that spot, they can get to know your friends and family by listening and with scent. Isn't that cool? You can even up the ante a little bit by talking to your friends and family on the phone, on speakerphone, before they ever come over. And your dog's gonna get to know their voice. And when they're in the house, they're gonna listen they're gonna know how you feel. They're gonna hear the tone of voice. They're gonna know if you're relaxed and don't forget this, they're gonna know where you are in the house. So think about that. Now what's the most important step you can take? Well, that's to get your dog used to being confined. You don't wanna put your dog somewhere like a bedroom, a crate, cage, kennel, behind a gate, or in any kind of enclosed area if they're going to go crazy because then they're not gonna be listening. If they're barking nonstop and they're not comfortable, that's not gonna help you. In fact, that will probably make things worse when you go to introduce them. So you wanna make sure they're calm in that space. Now is the time to start. If you need help with it, again, come into our community, come to my program. I'd love to support you and help you with this. And you're also going to want to be able to introduce your dog to the people once they've been confined for a little while. You can find out more at playtobehave.com slash join. Thanks for coming today. I'm Dr. Carolyn Lincoln and happy training.